Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest V. Last time, we defeated WD-40, and now she's being fixed up so she can possibly be a member of our crew. Alright. We also got a nice uh, cloaking system from her ship. Anyway, um, uh, let's see what we should do next. What do you have to say, Cliffy? Too engrossed in what he's doing to talk to you. Alright. But at this point, um, Spike might escape again, so if you see him, just grab him, put him in the tank, and put an Antasis in there again. So, uh, yeah. And every time we enter here, <laughs> they're doing something, and then... <laughs> oh, it's okay, as long as we're not too busy, you can, uh, play your video games or read your magazines. Oh, come on. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at that every time. Alright. How does the refuse system work, Drool? The refuse recovery system, or RRS for short, is the primary means by which the Hoover class garbage scout performs a designated mission. The underlying system is relatively simple. A vacuumatic containment field works in conjunction with tractor beams to suck up debris and space trash. After collection, refuse is moved into the Eureka's quantum garbage compactor where it can be reduced for transport to a designated dumping zone. Wow, and I thought the floor scrub in the academy was oppressive. Uh, when we finish our mission, what's a good place to go for shore leave? There aren't a lot of options open to us, Captain. The only place that's even halfway decent in this sector is the space bar. Maybe we'll have to check it out. Hmm, maybe we have a new destination. I certainly hope we will, sir. Uh, how did you come to be posted to the Eureka? That's kind of a long story. Relax, there's plenty of time until the travel timer runs out. I was involved in a very unfortunate accident, sir. It was while I was serving on the SCS Stupendous. It was a mistake anyone could have made, really. I'm listening. We were patrolling the neutral zone when an unidentified ship suddenly popped up on our screen. So naturally, I opened fire with everything we had. Naturally. She was blown to bits instantly. Unfortunately, it turned out to be one of our own robotic freighters. Imagine your embarrassment. Yeah, anyhow, after that, I got candid transfer to the Eureka. What did you do, sir? You must have screwed up pretty bad to get stuck with a command like this, or else ticked somebody off real good. I don't know. Well, come to think of it, probably the latter. Yeah, Captain Quark doesn't really like us, does he? I'm not Quark, Quark, I'm thinking of uh, Ratchet and Clank. Ah, uh, sorry for the around. What do you know about our destination flow? We don't have a destination, sir. Now maybe we should, uh, start heading there. So let's go to the space bar. And have some relaxation. Lane, of course. You know, Captain, I could really use a break. How about heading to the space bar for a quick drink? Alright. So that's gonna be 69869. You know it's a good place when it has 69 in there twice. When it's locked in, sir, ready to get underway. Alright. So now let's... Go light speed! Aye, sir! Alright, now what does she have to say? What do you know about our destination? The space bar is a great place to hang out, Captain. Okay. 
Uh, where are we supposed to be going? We finished our mission, Captain. Let's take some R and R at the space bar. Oh, not much. All right. So I guess we just go. Yeah. So how you folks doing? I'm doing all right. I've been playing some games. Been catching up on my backlog, playing a deadly premonition, if you can believe it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's a it's a weird game. Regular speed. Nice, right, sir. But I really like it. Oddly enough. Oh, there we are. All right. So I think, uh, do we have to say anything else? Oh, standard orbit. Standard orbit, aye. So yeah, we're not, uh, sucking anything in anymore. So when you go to standard orbit, you can. There we go. The last one down to the station is a rotten or at Ovum. Ooh. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's, uh. See, Cliffy's probably. Yeah, he's. <laughs> he's going to. Yeah, thanks for waiting, guys. Anyway, I think I spiked to serve some R and R too, so let's grab him. Ah, oh, hey, buddy. His acidy kisses are adorable. Jeez, the way he puts that in his jacket reminds me of a uh, Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> All right. Beam me down. Energize. Excuse me, Calm, but I see an old buddy of mine over there by the bar. Uh-oh, here we go again. What do you mean, here we go again? Hmm. Oh, let's have a look around at the interesting folks. Oh, what does this remind me of? Oh, yeah, this guy reminds me of one of the demons in Quest for Glory 3. Last time we saw a creature with a mouth that looked like this, it had a big hook in it. <laughs> a huge lava lamp is the the capstone, the crapstone, capstone to the retro decor of the Star Confederacy watering hole known simply as the Space Bar by its clientele. The Nova Station is home to the galactically infamous Space Bar and main port of call for ships on Liberty in the G6 quadrant. The alien looks vaguely familiar. Hmm, I wonder why. Or we can't look at that guy, whoever he is. The scorpion looking space trader is deeply involved with the Double Andromeda at the bar. Double Andromeda. Oh, that's probably a drink. And there's my crew sitting right there. We can't look at them, but uh, we can probably sit down. That will not be of any help, though. Can we just walk over? Um, do we talk to them? No, you're supposed to sit here. There we go. Hello, I am your cocktail waitress, analog. Bzz. What is your poison? Humanoids. I'll have a double bourbon on the rocks. Fuzzy nostril. Ooh. <laughs> I think that's a real drink too. 
give me a green goblin. Eh, ah, uh, you're just drinks. Not that I know much about drinks, honestly. The charges will be deducted from your StarCon account. If you feel the urge to hurl, please feel free to use the restrooms, humans. That's convenient. But I can just hurl it at you without spilling a drop. Oh, here's the guy coming with the double Andromeda. What does he want with this? Hello there, sucker. I mean, partner. May I have a moment? Well, actually, I'm kind of... Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Nilo Jones, a merchant of Venus. I <laughs> get it, merchant of Venus. A dealer and fine collectibles, trafficker and rare artifacts. What's your moniker, son? Uh, Roger Wilco. Well, Wilco, this is your lucky day. I could tell you the first tell the first minute I set eyes on you that you are a discerning individual with an IQ significantly higher than the chair he was sitting in. Well, you're not wrong there. <laughs> a man who knows the value of fine merchandise when he sees it. Well, uh... Never for you, Wilco. Nilo can fix you right up. Need some Antarian Firewater? A few gray market copies of the latest thing it's quest game? <laughs> or a lucky Tribble's foot? Tribble. How about some Chernobyl cufflinks? They're a collector's item, you know, guaranteed to give you that warm glow that like only hot radiation can. Pass on that one. I don't think. I can see you're looking for something special, Roger. Can I call you Roger? Well, I've just got the just the thing. Dehydrated space monkeys. They're all the rage in the colony world. You don't have to feed them and there's no mess for you. Fifteen buck swords. I'm not sure. You drive a hard bargain, Raj. I'll tell you what. You take a free sample of space monkeys and my business card with my compliments. Then you buy something for your lady friend the next time you pass through here. Uh, thanks. Realizing he's not going to make a big score here, the sales beast moves off to find another victim. your nook man, trash man. I recommend you recommended you for the job. A sanitation engineer, you too, crumb. Yeah, be proud of your job. Ooh, an aristocrat. I bet Ambassador Wankmuster would really be impressed. She and I are having a great time working together closely on the Goliath. Quirk, you have the looks of an orat and the manners to match. Oh, snap. Why, well, you little... I could have you brought up on charges for that. I demand satisfaction. I challenge you to a game of Battle Cruiser. Wimp. Fine, I'm gonna kick your ass side into the next quadrant, Quirk. Huh. Well, I'll see about that. Broom Jockey. Sprint actually like got like got advertising space for this game because yeah. Anyway, uh oh, battle cruiser. So I suggest you save here, which I will do. And let's look at the directions. 
Now cruise your objective to seek out and destroy all four of your enemy's cloaked ships before yours are destroyed. Each player will take turns firing either a proton torpedo or a probe. When a ship is hit, a section of the ship is destroyed and a red marker is placed on the sector map. If a shot misses, a green marker is placed on the sector map. Instead of firing a torpedo, you can also fire a probe. A probe will reveal ships in a 5x5 area around the spot you shoot it. If a ship is revealed, it will be marked with a magenta rectangle. Set up, you must first place your ships on the map before you can start playing. There are three sectors to choose from, and you can switch to any one of them using the three sector buttons on the right side of the screen. Any of the four ships can be placed in any of the three sectors, just as long as they do not overlap another ship and they do not extend past the borders of the sector. To place a ship, press the next button until the ship you want appears on the left side. Then move the cursor over the map and click the left ba mouse button to okay. Da da da! Okay, we get it, this battleship. Yes, 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 okay. <laughs> So, uh, you, you understand, right? Okay. So, here's the thing. In order to get max points from this, you have to get all of his ships while having him hit none of yours. I, I don't even think he could uh, even hit it. Um, or at least from uh, destroying, so I don't know. So, let's see. I'll have to check on that a little bit. Let's put you here. save here and his uh, ship's always going to be in the right spot so you can use one game to check where all of them are and then restore and then just destroy them <laughs> which um, I will be doing but I will do so next time on Let's Play Space Quest 5. Thank you for watching and have a good day.